V5 hacking today, or just sitting yeah. in the corner by yourself? I'm trying to find bugs so I can irritate Max and Alex. Okay. And it's not going that well. No? No, not enough bugs. Not enough bugs. Getting They're doing too much of a good job then. Yeah, exactly. What are you guys working on then? We are recreating the multi node tree picker from U components. So, so some, some U components hacking then? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. But it's going to benefit everyone. So, so how far have you got so far then? It's at a crucial stage at the moment. Oh, very crucial. Which is? We're showing a tree and we've got a bit of JavaScript and we're going to try and when you click on nodes, try to move them across to the other. Panel? The other panel. Yeah, but it's still very raw. It's still very raw. Uh, it does work. Or does it? Yeah, I don't think that. It, does, yeah. it doesn't work. which are, we didn't realise that he's actually hooked into MVC. Yeah. Things like you can use the data annotations actually in MVC with the property editor properties. So you found that really cool there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really yeah. Nice. It just validates space the same as a normal <laughs> MVC app. It's, it's blinding. Sweet. Today yeah. we've taken on the challenge of making the multi node tree picker in yep. V5, uh, which has been a challenge. Uh, yeah, it's been good. We, so we've made a property editor, yep. uh, something that we learned at the, the Amsterdam uh, hackathon. So you know, good to, to reuse something from there. And then we've figured out how to reuse the tree from the hackathon side uh, and put that within a property editor. Hi folks, how are you? Um, I started off looking at the tree, doing yeah. a content picker using the tree. And uh, in the end I decided to just duplicate the functionality of the ultimate picker, mm -hmm. checkbox lists. So yeah, that will be available on Delhi for £50. <laughs> <laughs> what a bargain. Even when people get kind of problems and errors, then nice. it's great for us because it's stuff that we can sort oh. out. Uh, I think Darren's done some really cool stuff, so his workflow package is just investigating what he needs to do to kind of get that working. Ports it over. Yeah, V5, so... Um, yeah, he's done. He's learned quite a few things actually, like working with the dependency injection and stuff. What wow, okay. else is really doing? Yeah, um, even writing his own custom tasks, registering those, and so he's doing some pretty, pretty cool stuff. Some nice, sexy stuff already. Yeah. No, the best way to learn is kind of get your hands dirty, delve into the code, see what you can produce, or see how many other screens you can produce. Excellent. In my case. Brilliant. We've had a few people with uh, a bit of success. Uh, really, really getting into that. Yeah, Rekha is kind of a bit of a, a spring clean, a bit of a. Uh, she's becoming a bit more beautiful. She's like the first few days, just getting to know her. So uh, she's, 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 she's. She's looking good now. She's scrapped up well. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. V5 rocks! <laughs> <laughs> Sweet man, <laughs> cheers. <laughs> See how long you can hold it. Yeah, just stay still. Delete that. <laughs>